Hello there. So my name is Vladimir Bozovic, and uh, I'm an electrical engineer from Belgrade, Serbia. I was born and raised in Belgrade. I'm 26 years old now. And uh, four years ago, I emigrated from Belgrade uh, to Milan, Italy, uh, in order to pursue my master degree in management engineering. I never saw myself 100% as an engineer, someone who is uh, completely introverted, who would spend uh, his days uh, working uh, at a PC, writing code, or uh, in a factory. I, see, I saw myself as someone who is a little bit more um, extrovert, a little bit more socially oriented. So I wanted to, to change my professional background from electrical engineer more towards something uh, socially applicable like uh, management. And I always wanted to create my own startup since I was a kid. So uh, that's something that, um, um, that I would achieve much easier uh, had I had a, a, a degree in business. So I decided to do a master's in business in Milan from Polytechnico de Milano. It was um, a mostly a positive experience. I didn't really like some parts about the faculty, about the Italian mindset in education, the way they do the exams, the, the way you need to memorize things and not really apply um, critical thinking. But apart from that, I was able to get in touch with really good knowledge, with uh, really good uh, information, professors and strong network. And somewhere near the end of my studies, after one and a half years, I also found a job as an IT consultant in one multinational co corporation called Everis. And basically, um, it, was a, it was a solid experience. I'm still working there. Uh, I'm there for two years now. I graduated in the, in the meantime, six months after I started working. And um, I've been, I was able to, to work on many different projects in the IT industry, mostly as a product owner as an agile consultant and uh, and so on uh, one year ago we decided me and my uh, fiance federica um, we decided to build a startup uh, which is called zen cv basically federica was applying for for jobs she couldn't get a she couldn't get a job she sent more than 50 cvs got zero replies so i decided to to help her with her cv we created a brand new CV, which was beautifully designed with also enhanced contents. And she, she sent her CV for more than 30 times and uh, she received 10 job interview invitations that she did two interviews and um, she got two job offers. So we, we decided, we understood that we had a viable business uh, idea around our little story because many other people around the world were suffering from the same. So we decided to, to build the, the business around that. And that's uh, why am I saying this? It's because because of this business, I'm thinking of coming back to Serbia, because in the meantime we've created a, a team of uh, almost 12 people, most of which are from Serbia, and uh, we understood after carefully assessing the different uh, options and economic viability that it would be more um, more beneficial for us from an economic perspective to start the business and run the business from Serbia because the salaries are a bit lower so it's it's more cost effective and uh, you can find people that are uh, at least of equal quality if not uh, if not more uh, talented and uh, and educated than, than, in, than in Italy so uh, right now I'm uh, currently, I'm in Belgrade as we speak, but uh, I, my my residence is still in Milan. Um, I am I'm currently a little bit indecisive, but I'm thinking of coming back uh, to Serbia. I don't know if that's going to happen soon, if that's going to happen in a year or two, but um, I'm definitely thinking about it. And the reasons to do that are uh, there are really high quality, talented people in Serbia that are really hungry, eager to work, eager to create, that speak very good English, are able to do business internationally without any problems. And uh, given the economic, economically alleviated situation, I also think that's, uh, that's somehow a good business decision. So that's my thinking, that's my thinking right now.